The first step of RAPD analysis is to design primers that will bind to genomic DNA at random sites that are neither too rare or too common. In this example, the primers were sufficiently long to bind the genomic DNA at a dozen places. For PCR to be successful, two primers must anneal at sites facing each other but on opposite strands. In addition, these paired primer sites must be close enough to allow synthesis of a PCR fragment in a reasonable time. In our example, there are three pairs, but only two of these pairs were close enough to actually make the PCR product. Consequently, this primer design will result in two PCR products as seen in the first lane of the gel. The same primers are then used to amplify genomic DNA from other organisms that are suspected of being related.